Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, today we're getting into another wash and go video. We're digging into a couple new products and like overall doing a new wash and go combo that I've never done before. So excited to get into that. Um, I also am going to be going through a couple life updates as well as we go through the wash and go. So it's gonna be a little bit of like a chit chat wash and go. We'll talk about the products. We'll talk about what's going on in my life right now. I just feel like I need to be open with y'all and just you know, let y'all know what's going on. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So first, before we start, I just want to go ahead and just mention this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it from when I'm all the way back here, but I got my brows done after using some really strong products. Bad idea, don't do that. I am thinking that in the next couple of days it will be gone, but if you're wondering what the heck is on my face, <laughs> that's what it is. Just ignore it, just pretend like it's not there. Um, but yeah, my hair is a hot mess express today. We do have my shorter hair. This is actually gonna be my first wash um, since we reshaped and chopped a lot of length off, especially, especially back here, y'all. There is, there is no hair, okay? There's no hair. And you know what? I just want to let y'all know that I don't miss my length at all. But yeah, we gotta, we gotta get into this wash. So to start off, I think because my hair feels and looks so dry right now, I would like to do just a quick surge before we jump right into shampoo. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with conditioner. And now I wanna introduce you guys to a new brand that we've never really talked about on here before. It's called Function of Beauty. And they are a custom hair care brand. They are our sponsors for this video. But yeah, it's very exciting. Custom hair care brands make me very excited. I went on, filled out their quiz so they know my exact hair type, even my scalp type. They even let you pick like your hair goals. So like, what are you actually trying to achieve from these products? So I have my little card here. And so the goals that I picked were anti-frizz, Curl definition, deep condition, hydrate, and shine. Doesn't that sound amazing? Like all, give me all of the above, please. I was also able to choose my fragrance, so I chose the fragrance name. It takes two to mango, which is a really nice fruity mango scent, and I chose the medium level fragrance. So yeah, based off of all of the information I gave them in my quiz, they went ahead and developed me a custom shampoo and conditioner. I am very excited to give these a try. So I actually opted for dye free. You can go ahead and use dye and make them really fun colors, but I figured in terms of health of the hair, I felt like less ingredients were better. Dye is something you don't necessarily need. So I went with dye free. They also gave some really cute stickers. So I went ahead and Decorated my bottles, which is super cute. The bottles have my name on it. Their products are all like vegan and cruelty free, but I was also able to choose silicone free for my products as well. Love that, you know. I just love the level of customization here. It makes me very happy because I know I'm getting exactly what I want for exactly what I need. So yeah, I'm really excited to dig into these. And like I said, I am going to start with this conditioner first. So let's dig in. So life update number one, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that my family and friends and I, we are all dealing with a loss right now. Uh, it has been extremely hard. It's been a crazy few days. Um, it happened while I was in LA. While I was vlogging, you guys would have seen that. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely horrible. Um, so that's why I'm wearing a purple bra today in honor of her. She was my best friend's younger sister. So she was like my little sister too, you know what I mean? And when I tell you the level of heartbreak that I feel, I, like I, you can't even bring it into words. But at this point, I am just basically dying to go home. I am going to go home next week. So I literally am just dying to be able to go home and just be with everybody. It's really, really hard being away for something like this. <sighs> but um, I'm excited to be going home very, very soon. I do want to say I am extremely grateful for my job, what I do as a career. While it is hard, extremely difficult for me to show up online um, during a time like this, it has also been amazing because creating content is something that I genuinely love. So being able to just have that little mini distraction um, or something that can just bring me joy through such a dark time is very special. And I wanna thank you guys for that. Ooh, 
Well, let's, you know, change the subject real quick. My hair feels amazing. The conditioner smells amazing, but also feels amazing in my hair. We are fully detangled. I do think this is the exact moisture surge, <laughs> moisture surge, the exact moisture surge that my hair needed today. And I'm excited to dig into the shampoo next. shampoo though also very moisturizing i think i put way too much which is why i have so many suds um i have a tendency to do that but this feels really good in the hair as well it feels like as equally moisturizing as it is cleansing and that's like the best kind of situation you can have for a curly girl for shampoos so yeah every day right now i am currently daydreaming of being home which i will soon but speaking of traveling i want to let you guys know of a very cool travel opportunity where you can actually travel with me. Something that we can at least get a little excited about during like this hard time. So basically, my girl Casey and I have partnered with a company called Trova Trip. They do tons of trips where you can sign up, you go on a trip and like all your excursions, all your hotels, it's like all planned for you in advance. So it's like literally stress-free traveling. And so Casey and I have worked with them and planned an entire trip to Bali for us and y'all to go together. Literally for us to go with our diehard community members who just wanna to come to Bali with us and have a good time. We are extremely excited about it, okay? Cause it's gonna be fun. It's going to be just a little bit of exploration, lots of beach, lots of relaxation, and of course like plenty of just good vibes and even like free products and all that stuff. Like it's going to be an amazing time and I really want y'all to come. I think the limit is 20 spots and the trip is live already. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this. I'll go ahead and make sure to link it for y'all below in the description box. If y'all are free from September 9th to 15th, I expect to see you there, literally. It's gonna be so, so much fun. Wait a minute, that shampoo is amazing. Next, I am gonna go in with a little bit of deep conditioner. This is my all-time favorite mask at the moment, the Fakai Shea Butter Intense Mask. This is amazing, my hair absolutely loves shea butter, so I'm just gonna give it a little extra surge of moisture before we then go ahead and get into styling. Okay, so back to Bali. Let me try and answer a couple of questions y'all may already have. Yes, there will be a payment plan option, so you don't have to pay a bunch of money up front. The trip isn't until September, so you got tons of time to start saving. We also have a special rate for early birds, so the first of y'all to sign up for this are going to get a cheaper rate than everybody else. So I highly suggest y'all check out the link and comment this valley. I'm serious, it's about to be so good. Oh, I'm so glad that I have that to look forward to. How many of y'all like haven't traveled in like forever? Okay, my LA trip recently, which was like, I don't even know if I can call it a trip. I mean, it's a trip because it was a four hour flight, but it was so short. It didn't feel like vacation. It was just like strictly work and then freaking grief at the end of it. So before that, I hadn't hopped on a flight since October, 2020, which is crazy. All right, so now it's time to get into styling. Today, I randomly felt like trying out the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. I realized I haven't used this product in a while. I've used it before a long time ago with my long hair. So it's a styling gel for curly and wavy hair. It says it has medium hold, lightweight, airy type of definition, which is exactly what I love because I love my hair to be like nice and big and fluffy. You already know. So Curlsmith gives us a level seven of weightless hold. So I am excited to dig in also. Yep, smells so good. So the last little mini update that I wanted to talk about a little bit here on YouTube is about clean beauty. And you know what? I have decided to not let clean beauty stress me out anymore. Years ago when I started my initial, you know, research on specifically sunscreens, it started for sunscreens for me where I saw things about chemical sunscreens and all the different chemicals that are in there that are not good for you. Mineral sunscreens are so much better. You know, I spent years, y'all have seen me, I spent years searching for the perfect mineral sunscreen so I could feel comfortable using it. I have shared that with y'all. Um, tell me how recently, like the other day, I saw an article how mineral sunscreens now, there is a study 
saying that it can cause this type of harm to the body and to your liver. I said, excuse me? Like, I just feel like when it comes to clean ingredients, clean skincare, clean beauty, whatever, I just feel like nowadays there's just always at least one reason why anything and everything could be bad or like dangerous for your health. That's really stressful because you will be on, I feel like this constant battle of, okay, we're on this one and then the next day, nope, we gotta move here and then we gotta move here. And I just like, I'm hopping off that craziness and I'm just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna do my best whatever feels good, whatever seems good, I'm okay with it. Even as for our sunscreens, you know, I did make a point to ask a number of dermatologists and estheticians, you know, I asked all the ones who I was able to speak to, what are your thoughts on sunscreen? And all of them were like, I don't care what sunscreen you use, just make sure you're using sun protection, period. Literally not one of them said chemical sunscreens are bad, make sure you're using your mineral, you know what I mean? So I'm at that stage now where I feel like while I can appreciate clean beauty and I love the fact that Sephora has Clean at Sephora to make it easy for you um, and you can just use Clean at Sephora products, um, I'm not going to be stressing myself out about everything anymore. For example, I have absolutely been loving Supergoop sunscreens and I do love the fact that they are clean chemical. So they don't contain a certain chemical that's bad for the reef, so they are reef safe, they are great, they feel great on the skin, they give you optimum sun protection, you know what I mean? So I'm in this space of like no more stress. Do the best you can and use what you want. I did also meet with an esthetician here in Atlanta the other day and she's also herself sick of people saying clean beauty because you know what the thing is. I'm not even saying that like clean beauty is bad, but I'm just saying like they'll call something clean because they are legally allowed to market it as that, but do we really know exactly what's in the product? No. Do we really know if it's actually clean what we perceive to be clean no so you know what i mean a lot of it is like marketing i'm off that crazy ride of trying to figure out like is this actually clean or not i'm not a scientist but like i just needed to have this conversation with y'all because so for so long for so many years i spoke to y'all about mineral sunscreens i did my um stay woke clean campaigns on instagram like years ago for the ogs y'all probably remember that and I just, like, it was overwhelming from back then, but it's just even more so to me right now. Will I still be looking at ingredients, especially for hair products? Absolutely. I do still have a personal preference for using um, silicone-free products on a regular basis and leaving products with silicone in there to be at least water-soluble and don't use them as frequently. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I will forever appreciate Clean Beauty at Sephora. I will forever, like, of course, like, I, I just still appreciate it and I think it's awesome. But at the same time, what I'm saying is, it's just not going to be the end-all be-all for me anymore. I will be using the clean chemical sunscreen to super group, okay? And I will not feel guilty about it. <laughs> I just, there's just too much controversy when it comes to the sunscreen and it's stressing me out and I cannot deal. That's just where I'm at. And I felt like I needed to update y'all and I'm curious to see if any of y'all feel the same way. Comment below, let me know. A lot of times, especially for cosmetics, hair products, everything, the sun is really wild in today. But yeah, when it comes to those things, it's likely very much a trial and error process is what you have to go through in order to find out what works for you. But when you find what works for you, just, just do it. Just do it, use it, do whatever research you need to do, whatever research you know, you're comfortable in doing for yourself. Maybe you are really into the clean, skincare stuff and you really understand you really like to take on all of that that is great kudos to you and i love that for you it's just not for me and that's all i'm saying like i'm just i'm overwhelmed by it so like y'all know i always come through with the updates when i am feeling a little different when i'm changing and i feel like you know what change is okay i feel like some people get real like butthurt about change when other people you know pivot as they grow a little bit and i just hate that i hate that people get butthurt about that because it's like why like are you not growing and changing you know what i mean i am still very excited um about where the world is going like for example i have noticed a lot of makeup foundations already this year like the trend is creating foundation that gives you the beauty that you need but also offers skin benefits like i love that i love that there's nothing confusing about that it's just adding a little bit of skincare benefits to a foundation and I think that's amazing and exciting and really really great. So I do still love the world moving in that direction. I'm just not stressing about it anymore. 
period. Honestly, that's basically where I'm at in life. Like, in a nutshell, ooh, the curl look good. Um, but yeah, anything that feels good, I'm doing it. Anything that stresses me out, I'm cutting it out. And 12 out of 10 recommend because it has been very much working in my favor, okay? Um, but yeah, the curls are styled. They are looking really nice. They're feeling really nice as well. That's it for styling. I will check back in when we're fully dry for final results. Okay guys, so we are fully dry. My hair, I haven't touched it. I literally haven't touched it. I just diffused it a little bit, let it air dry the rest of the way. And this is how we are looking. So the only thing that's left is to kind of fluff it out. These little curly whirlies in the back, they're so cute. They're actually my favorite. And honestly, this cut makes me want to go even shorter. So stay tuned, probably be doing something shorter, a little bit more fun for summer. Yeah, it's giving. I'm really very much enjoying this whole short hair, don't care uh, phase that I'm in. It's just a lot of fun and I am excited to have even more fun with more cuts, more styles, more shapes. Um, so feel free to comment below. Actually, if there is a specific shape you'd be interested in seeing me try, this like one part is like sticking out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if there's any other shape ideas that you have for me, let me know because I am really interested in having more and more fun with my hair. So yeah, I think we can go ahead and call this wash a success. I will definitely make sure to link everything below, including the Function of Beauty products. You can go on and take your own quiz. It's actually so much fun. That's about it for this video. If you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, okay? Because we'll be having some fun over here and that way you won't miss out ever again, okay? So thanks so much for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye!